Hey everybody. So there's some questions on how to get labor information into a report. And there's really two kinds of reports that we can get that information uh, out of Cabinet Vision from. So I'm in just an empty job and I'm gonna draw just a wall and I'm gonna throw a cabinet in here. All right, so I'm gonna go to my reports tab. I'm gonna go to bid center. And then I'm going to change the view from bid breakdown to labor. You can see there's no job labor showing here. Um, I'll just reselect this labor item and now we have uh, our labor rate table showing up. And if I click here on the setup button, this little wrench, uh, this I can create any number of labor schemes that I want. Very much like we'd create uh, bid center uh, bid methods and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> so this is what we can set up for that. Um, whatever I have showing here, okay, just like in, uh, in our bid center breakdown, uh, whatever is expanded here, when I go to my simple reports, which is the first way to do this, um, and I have a sample report that I did this here in, um, so we'll go back to the original sample report and we'll, uh, go to setup mode create a new report, say my labor report, and hit OK. And you can see that I have no, no information here, so when I go to view mode, it's blank, totally blank. We'll go back to setup mode, I can select any one of these tags here. Um, I'm gonna type in uh, labor body. And when I now go to view mode, whatever is showing up in that uh, the labor setup, the lab, labor view, um, shows up here. So to illustrate that, we're gonna go back here, go to the labor mode, and yeah, we'll leave this just like it is. Bid breakdown and simple reports. And you can see now it's collapsed everything down. I can also go here and let's uh, just put a simple divider, just some characters that let us know that we've actually gotten to the breaking point of where everything should be. And we're gonna go labor, body, all. Now when I go to view, it's going to be a spread out uh, version of all of the information here. So here's our collapsed information, which was the labor body. And here is the uh, labor body all. So it's all set out and shown that we can do. So that is that's one way we can do this. Um, if you are not trying to get the result or find out how much labor is actually in the job itself, what you want to, and, and let's say you wanted to oh, let's go here to our uh, labor view. And instead of finding out this information, we want to find out how all of these things are set up. Uh, well, what we can do is we can actually find in our database, and I'm gonna open up Access right now because that's what I have to edit here. And I'm going to open up the report.mdb and you're gonna see, and I believe it's in bids. Yeah, you can see here's my labor bid. So I can go to uh, any of these and if I see that the labor field here is set to negative one, which means true, um, then that's going to show up in our labor information. If it's not, it's set to zero, which is false. It's going to show up as a bid method. So let's close this and see how we can use that in our report center itself. So we'll go to the report center. We'll go to set up reports. We'll create a new report. And we will create a new table. We'll go to bids. And we're going to add this table in. And let's go bid name. Let's say bid ID. Actually, let's uh, remove these. Let's, you know what, let's just leave it like that. We'll hit finish, because I just like doing it like this. Select star from bids. So I will redo that. Now we have all of our actual bid information here. Um, but what if we don't want that? Let's say we just want bids dot, oh, actually, what was that field name? So you get to see the process that I do to kind of create this because I haven't created one. So I have bid ID with a space. So I'm gonna go 
Oh, actually, I wanted the name. So bid name with a space. So we'll go bids dot bid name from bids. So if I go there, all right. Now I've got uh, the name of it. Let's uh, let's add another table so we can get this information. We will go bid methods. No, we'll go bid setup. Yeah, we'll go bid setup. Um, and we're just getting this so that we can get information so that we can look at it and work with it. So we'll say star here. We'll refresh that. And there we go. We've got all the information that we need here for bid setup. Um, okay, excellent. So let's join those two tables together. Um, inner join bid setup on bids dot bid ID equals bid setup dot bid ID. Let's see if I did that right. I might not have. Oh, it looks like I got that. So, um, okay. Let's see here. Um, where bids dot labor equals negative one. So now we're going to limit this to just our labor. So you can see here, we've just got our labor bid. Now let's get all of the line items that are in there. We can go to bid setup um, and we'll look at this. We'll say, okay. Um, what do we need? We need the description. So that's going to give us the name of the, of the line item. Description. All right. So now here we go. We've got design, milling, rollout, all of this information. We've got that now. Now we want to go here. We want to see um, what the price is, I believe, is what we're looking for. Let's look for design in here. Setup, mounting guides, mounting hinges to... I believe that should be what we need right there. So let's go price. Bid setup dot price. And now you can see we're starting to build this table out. Um, and then we can say, let's look at our bid setup. We're trying to find our, let's see, what's the key? One, two, three, one, two. Method. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another table that we can look at. We're going to go to bid methods. We're going to add this, finish, and we're going to change this to select star. Okay. So now we have all of our bid methods. We want this a method description in here. So let's get that method ID, which in bid setup is under method. So we have to interjoin that in. So we're going to go here to the bids, put an open parentheses, go to the end of the from clause and put a close parentheses. And then we're going to inner join again. We're going to say bid methods then. So we're going to join that bid methods table in. Um, and we're going to say on bid methods dot method ID equals um, and that's supposed to be bid setup dot method. So let's refresh this and we've still got everything right because no no error so far. We still got a bunch of stuff here. So then let's say under this SQL, we said we wanted to get this method description. So under bids, we'll go to the SQL tab and select put a comma. We'll go bid methods dot method description. We'll click on this and there we go. So now I can actually build this out, this SQL, to fill in all the information so I know for every labor uh, bid 
there is this information showing. I know how many minutes, which is the price field, and then the method description, uh, three minutes per assembly, uh, eight minutes per assembly here for case assembly. Um, for um, mounting guides, I have two minutes per drawer. So this will allow me to create a report. Now I'm not gonna go any further into creating this report. I basically just wanted to show you the basic concepts of what we would have to do. We can in fact, once we're done with these two tables here, we can just remove them so we don't have to worry about any of it. Um, and uh, there you do, once we, once we hit close, it'll ask us to build the report. Okay, and you can go through here and you can do what you need to do to uh, get the report information. Um, and of course, we can always come back here, go to uh, report properties and change all of this information to get what we need where we need it. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, post on our e-support site about what, what you're struggling with or what we can help you with and we'll do our best to get you some help. Thank you and goodbye.